After over 15 years professionally building software for the web, I recently quit my lead software architect job to build a company with my family. The past five weeks have been an emotional roller coaster from a sorely needed and sadly insufficient two weeks of family vacation to a week of anxiety and depression where I felt like I couldn't even think about the work ahead. It's been a lot, but this week, everything changed. My name is Nate and sometimes I code. Nate codes. Now you don't have all day and I don't wanna pull an all nighter editing this thing. So here's what we're doing. First, we're gonna talk about what I'm doing. Second, we're gonna talk about why I'm making this video in particular. Third, we're going to talk about how is it going? How's the last week been? What's happened? What are the updates? So what is this all about? What is Nate Codes? I'm building a company with my wife that will create content for developers and build community and technology for ourselves and for clients. Now on the creation side of things, I'm I'm hoping to make educational content and entertainment content. And the educational content may include things like tech tutorials, video essays, and framework reviews or introductions. Second, I wanna make some entertainment content. I wanna have fun doing this, and I wanna joke around, which I guess is the category that this would fall into. Are you entertained? Or regardless, please like and subscribe. That would support me so much, especially starting out. And I'd love for you to comment, because the reality is I'm going to need to learn rapidly in this journey, and you and your feedback Feedback can be a part of that. So comment box down below, please. I'm gonna try to reply to all of them on this video. Next, I wanna build things. First, I wanna build technology and primarily technology that solves my problems. These will be projects that I can build in public, streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nate underscore codes, please follow. And there will also be some technology that I'm going to build for clients. I've got four mouths to feed and I have to pay the bills somehow. In some cases, this work will be streamed as well. I'll be building as much as I can in public, as well as building the bulk of the business in public. Second, I love building community. There's two Twitter spaces I'm involved in right now. One being my own open standup where anybody making technology or building things can come and give an update in a faux business setting. Everyone gets to share what they've accomplished, what they're working on this week, and any blockers they might have encountered. It's an hour where we get to share what we're working on as a community and maybe help one another out. Second space is called Work Life Merge Conflict, and I co-host this with my friends Rachel Neighbors and Tejas Kumar. This is such a blast. It's Tuesday mornings, generally 9 a.m. Pacific time. We would love to have you there. We'd love to have you be a part of those conversations as well. Now, as I mentioned, I'll be building this business with my family. I have an incredible wife with a background in graphic design, and she's helping me out with design and with media management. And I've got a son and a daughter who inspire everything I do at this point in my life. Now, why this video though? Why am I sitting in front of you exposing my orthopedic back pillow while talking about all of this? I hope to share weekly updates on what's happening and how it's going. I've been inspired by many who are building in public, whether that's building code, products, communities, or businesses. And during this season, I hope to do the same. I recently asked the void or posted on threads, wondering aloud whether this notion of building publicly should include ourselves or be limited to our creation. Over the past decade, the one thing I've built that I still interact with on a daily basis is myself and my relationships. I guess that's more than one thing. Anyways, I'm far from finished with that project. By many accounts, I'm not even at a beta release yet, but I digress. Each week I will post one video like this as a basic check-in. I'll reflect on progress, stress, energy, and activity using some systems I've developed over the course of my career. What systems, you ask? Don't worry, I'll get to those in just a second with our first update. Now, I don't know exactly what this will look like or how it's gonna go, but I'm inviting you to find out with me. Well, why should you care? I hope to share as plainly as possible the ups and downs of building a business from scratch. I've done this a couple times before, but never alone, and I hope that by sharing it with you, maybe it feels a little less lonely. And finally, how is it going? What happened in the last week and where are we at right now? Now for the update portion of the blog where we get the systems. First, energy and stress check-in. I've got some smiley faces and some colors that I use to summarize these on a whiteboard at my last job. Looking at this week, you can see things started out pretty rough on both energy and stress. Although I got great sleep at the earlier part of the week. So even when I was feeling very stressed, energy started improving. And at the end of the week, I got a lot of fantastic news. It was very encouraging and both stress and energy have been improving as a result. Definitely ended the week on a high note in terms of both energy and stress. Second, we'll do an activity check-in. I can't find week to week activities, but I got this trend screenshot and everything's looking up. I've made an intentional effort to get outside and walk more as well as make it to the gym three times in a week. I think that's definitely paid off. And now I'm just going to talk through the week and share some of the highs and some of the lows. Monday and Tuesday, we start our week with a successful migration of our family to my parents' house. 
After a mainline plumbing issue and the remainder of my toddler's bath, flooded our downstairs bathroom. That was great. Wednesdays are pre-designated family day. We try to go for an adventure, have a trip, do something fun with the family, and I try to work most Saturdays. This week, we were just getting back to our house, did some chores, a little bit of cleanup, unpacked, and really got the house together after a crazy start to the week. Thursday, I realized I was blocked on a critical deployment for one of my clients by their service provider. I proceeded to spend hours on end navigating account pages, reconfiguring the environment from scratch, stumbling through a labyrinth of support articles to finally get a properly configured ticket in, which has a two business day turnaround time. So I got stuck. However, I also got a text from an old friend, one of the few who knew about my career transition before it happened with a potential project, a new client perhaps. Friday, I got a DM. This was where the week really turned around. Someone I respect and look up to reached out about an instructor opportunity to create educational content. This company I'd be super excited to work with, regardless of the outcome. I was blown away to find such an incredible opportunity in my DMs on social media. An opportunity to be empowered in doing something that I'd love to do and have direction and guidance as I do it. Saturday, I had several calls, a couple potential clients and a good friend and mentee. It felt great to talk to people. These were some incredible conversations and these conversations resulted in at least one new project in the pipeline. So Ding. I'm incredibly grateful for that opportunity. Well, I think that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this whole thing. If you wait another second, there's some post credits shenanigans just as a reward for you. Night toads. Company with my wife that will create, hmm, eh. Baby goo. Notifications do not disturb on. I need to forget to turn this off and then miss all of the texts from my very angry wife three hours from now. I've got some ideas for fun, creative videos in the style of the internet. What does that mean? Uh, <clears throat> called work life merge balance um, and the remainder of my. S However, oh gosh. Oh, I had a meeting I forgot about. That was fun, definitely. Definitely was late to that meeting. Cool.